Here's a myth you hear all the time. Come over the ball. Well, when someone is hitting a topspin forehand, they eventually get the racket low. And when they come up, they don't hit the geometric center of the racket. As they're coming this way, they hit the bottom part of the racket. Then the racket displacement, the movement of the racket after they hit the racket turns this way. So then the aftershock or the feel is that they come over the ball. And again, sometimes you can tell someone, get the feeling of coming over the ball, close the racket face like you're dribbling a basketball and come up this way, and they can start to have some success in any topspin. My father was a civil engineer. One time I was watching TV with him, and he loved golf. And it was a tennis telecast, and a legendary player came on and said, to hit topspin, you come over the ball. Of course, my father, knowing that I was a student of tennis, said, what do you think of that? And I said, well, you're the engineer. You tell me what you think of that. And he thought about it for two seconds, and he said, it won't work. The ball is going to go right down in front of you. So then I said to him, who would you rather have a golf lesson from? Arnold Palmer, or one of the best technicians possible? He thought about that for two seconds, eh, maybe a minute, a little bit longer, and he said, Arnold Palmer. So that's, that's another myth that you have to take the lesson from the great player. You can't come over the ball.